So now that we have some solution documentation created, how do we uh, take a step up and start doing business process monitoring? So you've got your solution pretty much documented uh, to your satisfaction. Uh, all you start doing now uh, is you put this thing uh, into uh, operations um, and support mode for the production system. And if you right click in here, you can start creating um, some new uh, operations alerting. So now you can start alerting based on the business process, uh, which in, in, this, in, in this case is uh, my procure to pay. So over here is all the business processes uh, and the individual leads for you to do your um, KPI based monitoring. So in this case, you can have a look at the percentage of MM um, invoices, which are created uh, automatically by batch. Uh, or scrolling down, there's, there's, there's lots and lots of these. So where are these uh, all documented? They, they just seem to be, um, there just seems to be too many of them for me to understand. So if you flick on over to the uh, SAP KPI catalog, every single KPI for every single business process is listed here. And you can have a look based on the application that you're interested in, based on the end-to-end -end process that you're interested in, uh, or the product. So over here, if, I, if I'm just going to choose uh, one end-to-end -end process, uh, I'll choose uh, at random uh, design to realize. So if I choose one of these, you'll end up getting uh, an overview, uh, a defini definition of what the KPI is, um, how to set the thing up, uh, and how you would use it. So this KPI can be used for business process analytics, can be used in a, in a business process operations dashboard or can be used in dependency diagrams. Furthermore, you can build your own dashboard. You can uh, use the standard business process monitoring that, that comes um, with uh, SAP Solution Manager and there's a couple of other bits and pieces in the middle. So I'm going to show you most of these uh, one after the other. So let's kick off with uh, business process monitoring. So over here you come to the business process monitoring tab, business process monitoring tile. Uh, and once you fire this up, you'll end up in a screen similar to this. So in this particular case, we're having a look at um, order to cash. So over here on the right hand side, you can see the 13 alerts which have been generated already based on our KPIs. Uh, where it's fallen down, uh, obviously the red lights uh, is something which is broken down. The yellow lights uh, is the warnings uh, and the grey is um, a misconfiguration or lack of data. So if you click into one of these, you'll end up getting um, the uh, full metric, uh, including the status uh, of each of the metrics and then the last time it was checked. So if you check the number of sales documents or the number of sales uh, orders overdue and ready for delivery, you can uh, pull up here. There's uh, uh, 2977 which have been uh, measured. And if you click into the, um, do, uh, the trend line, you can have a look at the, um, the, met, the monitoring metric for the uh, trending over time. So if you go back uh, over here and uh, back to the process diagram and you wanted to have a look at the, so again, each, um, the business process uh, operations reuses the diagram from the solution documentation. Uh, and then if you click into the diagram, it'll actually show you on the diagram um, where the areas of interest are and where the alerts might be. So in this, in this particular case, these are the alerts for the delivery creation, the goods issue. So if we pick on the sales order entry alerts and you click on the triangle here, uh, it will take you uh, straight into the um, alert. Uh, and over here you can um, confirm the alert if you know it's a, it's a phantom alert or if you want to work on it, uh, you would just uh, open this guy up. Um, it'll give you more details about the alert. So if you click in here, you can create an incident from this, create a notification, um, go into an analysis report, confirm or assign it to another operator. Uh, or my favourite, you can uh, create a, a guided procedure uh, 
which can be executed um, either manually or automatically. So if you have if you have um, a series of um, incomplete sales documents, and it's uh, something which uh, happens often, you may set up a guided procedure which uh, steps you through um, step by step to actually fix this thing up. So you would um, execute the, the uh, manual activity in this case, and it's just a matter of following uh, step one, step two, step three, uh, and there would be perhaps transactions or um, uh, uh, user instructions um, uh, listed back here. So back to the business process operations, uh, and then uh, over here into the business process operations dashboard. So once we click into here, uh, we will be uh, thrown into the um, dashboard of choice where in, uh, in this case it's the uh, optimization and procure to pay. So over here you can get um, all the distribution across locations. So these are the overdue um, vendor items or MM invoices um, in the different regions. Um, these are the, the trends uh, in, uh, in value or in number of days. So uh, from here, you can um, click into the analytics or the detail list. So if we have a look at the detail list, this will bring up the list of documents. And if we click on one of these documents, it'll throw you into the manage system to have a look at the document in detail. So it'll throw you into the S4 HANA system and then, and then you can go from there. Uh, the analytics is quite interesting. So you can pick um, one of the KPIs uh, of interest. So if we choose one of these of interest, uh, it'll throw you into the analytics screen, which will be something like this. These are the document types. Uh, so what you can do, you can start having a look at an age analysis. You can have a look uh, over a number of uh, months or over a number of uh, years or over a number of weeks. You can get a view based on the number of items, uh, based on the uh, dollar value. Um, you can go in and try and have a look at uh, some sort of trend lines. Um, get a detailed list of every single document. Again, these documents are hyperlinked, so if you click on these, it'll take you into the managed system. Uh, and then further, once you get good at this, uh, you can set up some sort of artificial intelligence or some sort of um, pattern recognition. So you can look for certain thresholds uh, and then execute certain things based on thresholds of, of things that you're looking at. Uh, and of course, uh, you can set up your own benchmarks uh, for these things here. Navigating backwards um, to the dashboard. So again, the procure to pay dashboard. There's a number of links in here. Uh, these are a couple of my favorite ones. So the, the dependency diagrams with all the linkages. So these are your um, documents uh, uh, visually um, represented. So you can drill into some of these uh, and then have a look um, at some of the red lights to try and analyze what's going on. So if you click on the uh, hyperlinks uh, for the analysis, these are the customer items which are open and overdue. Uh, and you can navigate into here. And that will throw you back uh, into the um, business process uh, an analysis or the analytics set of screens. Um, back to the diagram. And from here, we can navigate to the progress management board in, on one screen. Uh, and then you can have a look at the baseline, which you may wish to set, whether you're tracking upwards or downwards uh, based on the last month. Um, and then uh, furthermore, you can navigate uh, further into these to find out which logs we're actually using to determine the trends. And then if you've got uh, one of the KPIs uh, in mind, um, you might switch units uh, between uh, uh, dollar values or number of documents. Uh, you may change the KPI um, or the progress information uh, or assign different KPIs as you go. You can then have a look at the different phases to find out. Uh, so each one of these boxes represents um, either you know, uh, requiring SAP analysis, IT alignment or business alignment to find out um, which phase uh, would give you the best return on investment to improve um, this business process and then we can close out the uh, demonstration here.